I welcome you this evening as we begin our virtual Carmelite Lourdes pilgrimage. Although we cannot be physically together in Lourdes this year, we will still journey together on pilgrimage over the course of this week. As Christians, we have a long tradition of pilgrimage. Throughout the island of Ireland, there are ancient pilgrimage paths and sites that have drawn people over the ages and still do today. From Tohar Fotherick in County Mayo, stretching from the ancient Ballantubber Abbey to the striking peak of Crowpatrick. To St Kevin's Way, which runs through the Wicklow Gap, down to what was once the great monastic city of Glendalough. Or up to Schlee Cullum Hill in Donegal, a pilgrimage route that meanders through the Glen Cullum Hill Peninsula. And south to Cusson and Maeve on the Dingle Peninsula, which travels from Ventry Strand past Galarus Ardry to the foot of Mount Brandon. Or to Schlee Fionnbara, St Finbar's pilgrim path in Cork, that takes the pilgrim from Drimmer League to St Finbar's Hermitage in Gugan Barra. All over the island there are holy wells that are special to the local people. And there are the more famous pilgrimage sites of Loch Derg or Loch Shrine. There is something within us that responds to the idea of a pilgrimage. It speaks to our imagination. It invites us to leave the ordinary path for a while. It draws us to search for something deeper. For us as Carmelites, the pilgrim and the journey have been there from the very beginnings of our order. Many of the first Carmelites were pilgrims who settled on Mount Carmel in the Holy Land. They went to the Holy Land in answer to a call deep within them, maybe not even knowing what they were looking for. But perhaps in the silence of Mount Carmel, they found what it was that they were searching for. As we, in our turn, walk our own journey, our Carmelite rule tells us how to follow the sure path, the safe path. Our rule tells us to walk faithfully in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. To help us to see his footsteps more clearly, we need to take the time to step aside, to pause, to watch, to listen, and to adore the wonder of his presence to let him be the lamp for my feet and a light for my path. For many years, the Irish Carmelites pilgrimage to Lourdes has been a very important time for so many people. Those days in Lourdes each year are a very special time when we support one another on our journey. And hopefully we return with our faith strengthened and we are better able to cope with the challenges of life and to walk ever more faithfully in the footsteps of the Lord. Sadly, we cannot physically go on pilgrimage to Lourdes this year. But as a community, as a pilgrimage family, we will gather over these days. We will be together in spirit, praying with and for one another. Over these days, we will reflect again on the message of Lourdes and pray that we will receive whatever grace it is that God would want us to receive during these days. We will now hear from some of those who have key leadership roles in our pilgrimage. As I write these words, it should be just a few short days away from our departure to Lourdes for our annual pilgrimage. These days would have been frantic, but enjoyable, ensuring all the group here in Kinsale had their tickets and travel documentation in order. Checking and double checking, we had everything packed and ready for the week in Lourdes that I and so many look forward to all year. Not being able to get to Lourdes this year has been disappointing, yet necessary. These are difficult times, but we should not lose heart. As I see it now, the countdown is on and it is just 52 weeks to our next pilgrimage to Lourdes. Many of us will be feeling sad and disappointed that we won't be with our Carmelite Lourdes family this year. Perhaps it is an opportunity to focus on all the happy and special memories we have built up 
over the years and indeed be thankful for many blessings we have received. We look forward to brighter days in 2021 when we can gather again at the Grotto in Lourdes and sing all the louder Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Please continue to pray for everyone affected by the coronavirus pandemic and all those who work so hard to care for others. We remember especially those amongst us who are working in the front line and in essential services. The advice is at the moment for us all to keep our distance. But remember, Our Lady of Lords remains close beside us. And we pray that she may continue to cover us under the mantle of her special protection. I greatly look forward to seeing all members of our Carmelite pilgrimage family back in Lourdes in 2021. And remember, stay strong and keep yourself safe. So I owe a lot to the Carmelites really and I'm always grateful. I love their name, I love the work they do. I just love being associated with them. Hello, you're all very welcome to the St. Patrick's Cathedral Armagh, the primacial capital of Ireland. That's where our pilgrimage is starting from this year, under the circumstances that we're in. It's sad the way it is, and we hope that everyone, our pilgrims are all safe and staying safe. Uh, under those circumstances, that's the reason there is no live pilgrimage in Lourdes for anyone this year. We're hoping to be back next year. But having said all that there, we think we're going to have a, a fantastic five days together. Uh, we'll have Mass and Rosary and uh, it should be very, very nice. All the different, all the programme that would be on in Lourdes will be on each night here. So delighted that so many people have talked about this here from it's been announced. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all, all our Carmelite friends that we haven't saw for some time. We'll see this time next year. Please God, we're all back in the grotto. Thank you very, very much. I look forward to seeing you. Bye. As we live stream our pilgrimage from the chapel of Terenure College, we offer a warm welcome to you all, to those who have traveled as part of the pilgrimage to Lourdes, and to those who are new to the Carmelite Lourdes pilgrimage.